or not to be used on economical sustainable development. 50 trillion industrial and generous bees work tirelessly every day to fertilize the Earth's great garden. A relationship between humanity and his magnificent insects that know from the basis at least 20,000 species on the planet. The best known is the Apis mellifera, which provides us a supply of honey from which humanity reaps a number of benefits. The impact of demographic growth on the environment is such that the biodiversity of our ecosystem is shrinking by the way. For as long as these affect plants that are ostensibly of no use, or animals that are not potential food for humans, no one raised an eyebrow. However, these are a very different proposition. These insects allow us to feed ourselves. Albert Einstein noted that mankind will have only a few years to live if the bee were to disappear. Is it right or not? I don't know, but the fact is this one. Because these prime foragers is indispensable for pollination and therefore for the reproduction of flowers and many plants from which we feed ourselves. The bee is more an important indicator of the health of our planet. And here precisely, there can be no doubt for years. A weakening and dying of bees colonies have been observed in many countries. Indicators are telling us that something is happening and that immediate action is no matter of urgency. The space, the space occupied by humanity is finite. Yet, for you, for everyone, in terms of creative invention, is infinite. Since the space available to us, the only boundaries we face are those of our making. It is why I think this space created 4.57 billion years ago that humanity must reconstruct its present because it's very much our present that's in danger. Just to give you an impression. To better grasp the relative value of time, let us say that if the Earth is only 24 hours old, the first industrial revolution which triggered a fundamental change in the environment through the action of human beings began only 0.003 seconds before midnight. Short time. There are two ways to regard what was happening. Either we point the figure, finger to blame, or we understand that we are all on the cups of humanity's greatest revolution. I'm only positive every morning when I stand up. This is not simply a problem, but on the contrary, an extraordinary opportunity to align many potential forces for good. A cornucopia of discovery and creativity, we can serve as the basis for a new enterprise and jobs that will have a positive impact on the quality of life of which we find ourselves. And the good news is that we have already initiated a step forward. The solution can be found all the time in the problem. If the problem hasn't a solution, worrying serves no purpose. If it doesn't worry, change nothing. Tibetan proverb. Economic growth, the first for knowledge and the constant search for new horizon, are intrinsic to human activity. There are those who seek to reverse this state of affairs, those who wish to reign without sharing, and those who simply live from day to day, either, either through choice or because they have no other solution. 
if we are to rise to the challenge of continued human activity and create framework conditions for sustainable economic development that is respectful of space both tamed and untamed, think global, act local, and we can impact global. The axiom, think global, act local, impact global, calls only to question the line that only globalization can generate full employment and individual development. On the contrary, what we have now be regarded as a destructive economy, the short term. The tyranny of short term thinking has been imposed by finance in the 1980s. The too big to fail, if you have heard about here, about that for young people, the too big to fail statute of leaning financial establishments has surely had its day. We need to separate it, to separate the speculative activity of Merchant Bank for the financial mediation. Savings, credit. Savings, credit give us the opportunity to create new enterprise, to develop the world. The stock market crash in 1987, a lot of you didn't remember. In one, on one day, we were losing 27% on the stock exchange. It was terrible. Why? You reveal the process in which the machine programmed by human beings brushed aside all long-term considerations. This movement was strengthened by the processing ability speed of computers, greeted by algorithms that spy on our slightest whims and sound out our compulsions on a daily basis in order to formulate a supply chain in which every firm in a state of constant anticipation tries to undermine its competitors. I will speak about Apple Watch. I will speak about the iPhone. A lot of things that we are using today. They spy us to know what we can offer tomorrow and to be the first. How to be the first. The algorithm is something you will hear a lot of time. The exclusive search for financial gain is out of step with the tight scale of industrial development, high the cycle of research and development, promotion, network building, sales depreciation and investment, reinvestment is no longer valid. Globalization has taken that path to extend that individuals can no longer identify which civil society, their firms or their families. Sustainable development on economy is denatured as a result. For example, the car sector with the Volkswagen affair is only the type of the iceberg on the list of systemic dysfunctions and losses of values we accord to life. Must we therefore throw in the towel and accept the fate that awaits us. The challenge of the years ahead. Should the debate focus on alter globalization, associations, social capital, social economy or fair trade, social currency, emancipated employment, or perhaps a little of all these things at once? This is indeed the challenge of our times. We need to outline a vision which stops us believing that everyone can lay claim to everything. Similarly, we must avoid extinguishing free enterprises. Innovation best, must not be destructive, but must, be, must generate a better life for the largest possible number of population. Problems are no longer have a future. The OECD has determined nine economic sectors, each representing option on which a new paradigm of sustainable development can be based. They include all aspects relating ecological material, waste management, renewable energy, environmental chemistry, environmental biology, energy efficiency, ecological transportation, environmental consultancy. 
about 70% what exists today and what we have to build for the future. The UN General Assembly held in New York in September 2015, one month ago, adopted a new roadmap for a sustainable planet. 17 objectives in terms of sustainable development will make it possible to build a future for 8.5 million inhabitants expected to populate our planet. We were 150 some Peter century, 1 billion people. When I was born, we were 1.5 billion people who were expecting 8.5 for soon. 15 years after adopting the Millennium Development Basis, major progress has been achieved, particularly interesting, having a number of uneducated school-aged children, reducing extreme poverty, those living with less than $1.25 a day, by more than 50% down from 1.9 billion people in 1990 to 836 million in 2015. But you imagine 836 million, what it represents 150 years ago. It's also huge today. Economic development has played an important role in that, notably in China, from which 99% of its population benefit from basic health insurance in 2012, compared to only 60% eight years previously. The objective of sustainable development go by on simply enumerating the need for a change of paradigm. They require also to take stock of humanity groups on the planet. Its level of development and its impact on all living things. I said all living things. They also represent the potential to deploy a type of economic development they give humanity path it can follow to unit the basis of a shared objective on a single destiny. According to the financial means at their disposal, it is why I think the power of government, firms, institutions, and individuals to invest, to invest judiciously in sustainable firms, institutions, and individuals to invest in sustainable or human industrial economic development. This approach must show respect for the distinctive features that make up our social biodiversity for the common good. With finance, not the goal, but the means to achieve this objective, we must restore the value of time by reacting ourselves with long-term value and with appropriate expectations in terms of return on investment. We will be able to recreate framework conditions that will influence the quality of work if individual life being, life standards, social development, good application of statute budgets, and naturally meets the goal of the UN. Havanese of this at a time when we many are casting doubt on economic growth will inevitably provide a lever which will improve the quality of life generally in the time we have at our disposal in our current state of affairs. Consequently, this approach requires finance to be tamed, notions of long term to be reintroduced, as well as universal awareness of the responsibility that we, as individuals, have the power to yield collective force capable of bringing this about. Under such conditions, a general improvement in quality of life will have a positive effect on the unbridged growth of world population. We will have no choice but to slow down. There are still many doors be opened in relation to countries that are not yet developed by channeling investment capacity in their direction. To all of those who today despair of finding an illusory well-being and instead seek of new pasture, this offers potential and an incentive to remain in their place of origin. By helping these countries on the path to their own well-being, inhabitants will be able to develop their kernel of wealth in cultural, spiritual, economic, and social terms. This will reduce pressure 
on developed countries no longer able to cope with immigration and will restore the peace of mind needed to build a sustainable world and to share human values for the greatest good, mindful of need to respect all. The search for immediate profit. Who's the last? Who's the last? Return on investment or sustainable investment? In this context, we have to ask the right question and make the right choice. Humanity has an extraordinary opportunity to unite in a shared destiny. And we have the good future to be part of it. An exquisite privilege. One can only make others happy with their consent. When such consent is given, goodness is bounded only by the limits we set. Let us the knowledge we have gained to promote sustainable development for the happiness of all mankind without frontiers. I'll say, those who have the privilege to know have the duty to act. Albert Einstein again. Thus, will be live. Each of us has the capacity to make the difference. You have heard it this morning also. We are living in a time that no one has ever so much opportunity to write the greatest story for humanity. Thank you for your attention. Merci.